and tonight we're starting on the sixth chapter of Revelation. Now, as we study uh, this chapter, we're referring different places, even to Old and New Testament alike, because the entire book is the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's all together the revelation of, of the Lord Jesus. The revelation of Jesus Christ. It's God revealing Himself in the book. Revealing Himself through Christ in the book. And Christ is the revelation of God. He come to reveal God because He and God were the same. God was in Christ reconciling the world to Himself. You see, the book actually was planned and written before the foundation of the world. Amen. This book, the Bible, was really written before the foundation of the world. And Christ being the Lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. And the, the members of His bride, their names were put in the Lamb's book of life before the foundation of the world, but it's been sealed up. And now it's being revealed. Whose names were in there? All about it. What a great thing. And there about 12 o'clock in the day, the Holy Spirit just swept right down into the room and the whole thing is opened up to me there. So, of, this, of this first seal being opened, I'm as positive as I'm standing here tonight that this is the gospel truth that I want to say. I really know it. Now, we find the Lamb with the book now. And now in the uh, sixth chapter we read, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of a thunder, and one of the four beasts, saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bowl, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. But it isn't this kind of a book. It's a scroll. And then when the scroll is unwound, that's one, that laying right in the scroll is number two, and right here says what it is, but it's a mystery. So a revelation is something that's made known of something. Something that's been revealed. And now, notice, so you won't forget it, it is closed up until the latter time. The whole mystery of it is closed up until the latter times. We find that in the scripture here. Now, the mystery of the book are revealed when the seals are broken. And when the seals completely are broken, the time of redemption is over because the Lamb left the intercession boat to walk out to take His claim. He was a mediator between that. But when the real revelation happens on the seals, as they begin to break, the Lamb is coming forth from the sanctuary. Now he said there is a white horse rider, but what the mystery of it is, is a mystery that goes with that rider. Now, what it was they didn't know, but it's to be revealed. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals. What about that thunder was? St. John 12, chapter, and just hold it. St. John, the 12th chapter, when the thunder, remember, a loud, laughing noise of a thunder is the voice of God. The first seal, when it was opened in the symbol form, it thundered. But what about when it's opened in its reality form? It thundered as soon as the lamb struck back the seal. And what did it reveal? Not all of itself. First it was God. Next it's in a symbol. Then it's revealed three things. And only is to be revealed at the last day when this actual seal is broken. Broken to who? Not to Christ, but to the church. Oh, my, that just makes me tremble. I want a thunderclap go down. John might have jumped up in the air. I want a thunder roar. 
And then one of the four beasts said, Now, come see what it is. What's revealed beneath here? Oh, my God. John, write what you see. So, John goes to look see what it was. John goes to see what the thunder said. It's then that this creature told John, Come and see what the mystery is under the first seal. The thunder, the voice of the Creator has uttered it. Now, what does this white horse mean? And he that sat on him had a bowl, and a crown was given him. He didn't have it then. Unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. Now, what does the white horse mean? Now, here's where the revelation comes. But my revelation of, by the Holy Spirit is not that way. My revelation by the Holy Spirit is Christ and the Holy Spirit is the self-same person. Only in a different form. So here stands Christ, the Lamb. We know He was the Lamb. He's standing here with the books in His hand and there goes the white horse rider. So it wasn't the Holy Spirit. And so how could Christ be out there the white horse conquering and standing here with a book in His hand? It isn't the Lord. It isn't Christ. Notice. Now, the Holy Spirit in the Revelation and Christ is the Holy Spirit is Christ in another form. Right. Notice. It is the Lamb that opened the book. And the Lamb is Christ. And Christ is not seen anymore. From that... But he is seen in the book of Revelations, the 19th chapter, coming on a white horse. Amen. And he that sat on him was called faithful, true, righteous, does he judge and make war. His eyes were flames of fire, and on his head was many crowns. Look at the diadem. And he had a name written that no man know but himself. I noticed. No man know but himself. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God. Yeah. Notice, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nation, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he tread the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of Almighty God. And he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There comes the Messiah. There he is. Not this fellow on this horse back here. Well, notice, the rider on the white horse don't have any name. He might use two or three titles. <laughs> but he hasn't got any name. But Christ has a name. What is it? The Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, the Word is with God, and the Word was God. And the Word made flesh. The rider has no name. But Christ is called the Word of God. Who is this mysterious rider of the first church age then? You want me to tell you who he is? He's the Antichrist. Exactly what he is. Now, because you see, if an Antichrist, Jesus said, that the two would be so close together and so it would deceive the very elected, the bride, if it was possible. Antichrist. It's the Antichrist spirit. Glory. Amen. Notice. And when this Holy Spirit that we have becomes incarnate to us, the one that's in our midst now in the form of the Holy Ghost, becomes incarnate to us in the person of Jesus Christ, we will crown him king of Amen. Right. What are we saying? Who is this rider? This horse rider. You know what it is? It's Satan super educated. This is a Satan superman with education, with wisdom, with church theology of his own word, of his own making. And he rides his white denominational horse to deceive the people. And the Antichrist takes it all. And the Bible said that he deceived all. Ain't all of them. All upon the face of the earth whose 